with me here. a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. Special treat for all this you thing Sunday seems pretty gunked up. Live in Seder Studios, Skip Matthews, lead singer. I think I should move on to something else. Hottest new bands. Say hi to the fans, Skip. <clears throat> hi, fans. Now, Skip, I understand you work as a security guard at Blackwell Academy. Is that true? <clears throat> I used to. I uh, I I uh, quit actually. Really. Hold on to your horses, folks. This thing Skip is Matthews of going to has fuck up. His badge and six shooter for a life of rocking faces. <laughs> Hell yeah! Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from his head. Maybe. You haven't heard these guys yet. <gasps> what I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. And if anyone complains, what are you telling them? Sick. Yeah. Uh, his head rules. Nailed it. Hmm. What do I see? <laughs> I know. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Help keep shit distributed. Oh, fuck. We're back from whence we came. This connection is pretty shaky. 
I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Please, I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> exactly. That shirt looks awesome too. I might add. You like anything that starts fire. Hey. Not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. Is that true? No, 
I, I was just asking for some help. It's not a big deal. No. Maybe I'll make it one. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? This is between us and Frank. It's none of your fucking business. Problem is, you made it my business. And your tough girl shit is starting to get on my nerves. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch!
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. That guy you have a file on. Damon Merrick. Why does he hate you so much? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be... Sometime before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I 
I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as one more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh, that's weird. Oh, shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> Guess I'm glad we stole their wine. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died, and not a single one described how I felt. Damn, are these all firefighters? Come on. <laughs> not that I have any coins anyway. <laughs> oh man, jackpot. more of those. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? Is this Mikey's room? All right, then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are... Uh... How are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. And Drew? Hey, maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. That's... That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... well... guilty lately. Yeah, 
I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. I know they've been trying to help me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Chloe. Hey, you made it. Hey, Chloe. Hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh... <laughs> Thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, that's not funny. Shit. You're serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no. We got our own set of problems with him. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, I'm gonna... What? What are you going to do when you meet Damon Merrick? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... <laughs> Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Huh? <laughs> Those must be from Steph's parents. Oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? Mikey's nurses must love this. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Mikey's entering into a cartoon contest? I hope he wins. That's cute, I guess. Hey, can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, something nerdy. But not too nerdy. There you go. Cool. Tell Rachel she's got to come to board game night. 
soon. Say hi to Rachel for us. We're rooting for her. Hey, wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. I, I told you, I was working for Frank. I know. That doesn't mean you weren't trying to help us too. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. itself. How could that be? Hell if I know. Those guys look exhausted. Unless you get stabbed. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric... My son needs nothing from you. He put down a couple of bullies who were harassing him at school. That is all. Sir. I believe you're I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. Serious. I should see her right away. Symptoms. Allow me the chance to... Nathan's already getting more than enough attention from one of you. I am fed up with these made-up problems. <sighs> I really regret overhearing that. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? My dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I just keep feeling like we were lucky. It, it could have gone so much worse, you know? I'm sure it would have been if you weren't there for her. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will.
Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. <laughs> I saw Steph earlier. She says, hey. <laughs> Steph's so cute, but not as cute as you. Stop. I mean it. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. And I'm so sorry. And and you saved my life. You saved my life. Just don't do that again. Play the damsel in distress? <laughs> you got it. No. Attack a psycho with a two by four. That was crazy. News flash, Chloe. I'm a little crazy. <sighs> crazy awesome. Happy that your dad's here? I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <sighs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll, I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. 
Thank you, Chloe. For... everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it, it's nice. A uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's from Mikey. Were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. I guess I'll stop by. After I see Mikey. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right, of, of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. It's really, it's really not your business, Elliot. Okay, that's fair. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any... I'm not gonna be able to smash my way through this one. Hopefully there's a key around somewhere.
James sure keeps lots of files on people. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. I feel like I've heard that name before. Best dad? <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Found you. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. <laughs> it's the big one. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. What do we have here? I should check the computer, or some of those files laying around. <sighs> Welcome to Shadyville. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? <sighs> Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me?
Shit. What do I say? Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just did Damon really shoot someone? Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Could this be the evidence? Damon and Knives seem like a solid bet. Huh. If TV has taught me anything, these babies will be swimming in DNA. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Oof. Better not touch that again. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. Okay, if I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better
better be sure I'm right. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. But where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Yeah. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? What? When will you have time? For me. You have all the time in the world for... for Rachel. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You, you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. 
Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end, as usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? She let you make a fool out of yourself. S seriously, man. Y you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise. N no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. Dude, you, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Look, I'm sorry. But I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left, when your dad died, no one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about, and I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. You mean here, specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is at great risk. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. This whole thing has been a cry for help. Help me. Help me now. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I just need things to hurry up and get here. Now. You're acting strange. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you...
Ugh, you bitch! Can't you see I just want to help you? You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. Because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life, and he's still lying. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff Mom doesn't know about me. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? Of course not. You sound pretty sure, sweetheart. You were pretty sure Mom would never fall in love with someone like David too. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I guess it's better this way, not knowing. Then I'll always be the perfect dad? How many people get to say that? No word. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. 
Besides, we don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Shit. Is that blood? Frank? Frank! This is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? Don't tell me what to do. Glad to see the bone made. No more beer, no more time. I've got to keep moving. <sighs> Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? Frank's couch is toast. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand? Why does your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got the money right here. Your money. 
Want it? How the fuck? Uh. Ah! Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. <laughs> Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! You are one stupid, crazy bitch. Should've never got mixed up in this shit. The DA's family, an out-of-town junkie, and now high school girls? What a fucking mess. It's okay. A girl's first time should be special. No. Not so tough now, are you? Go to hell. <laughs> That's the spirit. Hey, you touch her again, and I'll kill you. Is that so? Try me. No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Sarah. Rachel. Your daughter. She... Where's Frank? Or... Or Damon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that- Rachel can never- no. That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. 
Tell her what happened here, and you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. A couple of years ago, my best friend left me. Didn't write. Didn't call. Like I never existed. Friends come and go, Chloe. Not like this. We were... I thought we were gonna be friends forever. I was wrong. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented, and she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. I used to think my dad was perfect. But now I realize he was probably just as messed up as everyone. And it doesn't make me love him any less. That's a nice thought. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me 
give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her, protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can without me. Wait! Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed. <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So... How did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. 